regarding the examination of the reflexes, really we have uh, superficial reflexes and we have uh, deep tendon reflexes. Let's start with the superficial reflexes. First of all, I'll check for abdominal reflexes. And the abdominal reflex, you have to scratch, for example, a tank blade from laterally into medially in the phenomenal direction into the symphysis pubis and into the xiphysis sternum in the same way the other area to be scratched. Really, this uh, test, this uh, reflex is conducted via T8 into T, uh, up to T12 and it is lost in any patient with lower motor neuron lesion involving this uh, roots or this uh, nerve and in any patient with the uh, uh, suprasegmental or contralateral uh, cortical lesion. This is with respect to the upper abdominal uh, superficial reflex. In the lower limb, we have the Babinski sign. Really, regarding the Babinski test, we have to have a key and ask the patient or tell the patient that you are going to uh, checking this uh, test. بس حماد راح أطخ رجلك بهذا المفتاح ماكو مشكلة. And in the following manner, first of all you have to stroke the lateral side from here up to the base of the small or little toe. If the patient had no response, we can continue into the base of the big toe in the following manner. Okay, and see the response of the patient. Normally, the response is that of flexion of the big toe and the flexion of other toes. This is the normal. Patient who had positive Babinski sign or extensor plantar response will develop this will develop this movement. First of all, the hallux will be up, dorsiflexed, and the finger will be found, fanning of the finger. These are fanning of the finger and the hallux will be up, dorsiflex. Sometimes there is a mass reflex in which the patient had dorsiflexion of the ankle, flexion of the knee and even flexion in the hip. This is what we call it mass reflex. Sometimes the patient had intermediate reflex. That's to say the big toe and other toe will be flexed into the plantar surface and then into the dorsal surface. This is also positive reflex and indicate upper motor neuron lesion. If the patient, once you touch his plantar surface, the patient in ticklish manner, he withdraw his leg into his body. This is what we call it withdrawal response and the test should be repeated. And uh, when you comment upon the Babinski, Really, we haven't such a sentence that there is no or negative Babinski sign. Babinski sign is pathological reflex. When it is a present, we have to say positive Babinski uh, sign or test. And, uh, and it is better to say blunter response as extensor or uh, flexor. Really, we have uh, derivatives or alternative for the Babinski. First of all is the Oppenheim. Oppenheim in such a manner. And then, Gordon, squeezing of the calf muscle. And then, Schaefer, squeezing of the Achilles tendon. And then, we have the Chadok. Chadok by stroking the lateral surface of the foot, just like this. And we have the Bing and Gonda. This is the Gonda, flickering of the little finger. And the bang when you use a pinhead over the dorsal surface of the big toe. All these are derivatives for the Babinski, and uh, the candidate or the examiner should look at the movement of the big toe. This is about the uh, Babinski sign. Sometimes, sometimes the patient had, for example, uh, amputation here, for example, of the knee. One can uh, partially elicit Babinski sign 
when he or she stimulates the stoma here of the patient and puts his hand here over the tensor fascia lata to see the contraction. If there is a contraction here, this is partial response for uh, Babinski. This is with respect to superficial uh, reflexes. Let's go now into the uh, deep reflexes. First of all, we have to check for the triceps reflex. We will cross the arm of the patient, ask the patient to relax, and then palpate the tendon and strike it with the predictor. And then to strike it. Okay, we will see the contraction here, and we will see also the joint movement. This is with respect to the triceps. Once you finish this reflex, you have to check the other side. Okay. After that, we will check for the biceps reflex. Put your finger over the biceps tendon and also strike it. And then also check the biceps from the other side and check it. After that you have to check for the supinator reflex about two inches from the radial style of the process here or you can put your finger so as not to hurt the patient. After that you have to check for finger reflex in the following manner and then you have to check for the Hoffman sign by grasping the middle finger and flicker it just like this. If the patient just like this uh, voluntarily, if he had uh, no reflexes can be elicited, we can perform Jandrasic's maneuver. We will show it after completion the lower limb reflexes. In the lower limb reflexes, first of all the knee joint reflex, you can use this maneuver. Look at the quadriceps contraction palpate the patellar tendon and then strike it okay and then you have to check the other leg this is the contraction after that you have to check for the ankle this is 90 about and here is 90 and strike the Achilles tendon. Okay, after that you have to check the contralateral. Contralateral reflex. This is about the lower limb reflexes. This is the ankle, knee, and the upper limb reflexes. If the patient just like this volunteer had an upper limb really weak uh, reflexes. We can perform Jandrasic maneuver to increase the anterior horn cell excitability in the following manner. Either we ask the patient to uh, clinch his teeth or to perform fist with the contralateral hand. For example, I'll perform the biceps reflex. Okay, now we have reflex. Okay, we have now a reflex. Really, this is Jandrasic maneuver. If we perform it on the lower limb, we can ask the patient in addition to fist clenching of the teeth, we, we can ask the patient to interlock his fingers. Let's take a look at the quadriceps. This is the contraction. Okay, this is what we call it, Jandrasic maneuver. Or what we call it, the reinforcement uh, maneuver. Really, in the reflexes, we have uh, some, some issues other than this. Uh, Sometimes, the candidate may be asked about alternative uh, triceps uh, reflex in the following manner 
you have to slide your arm here. Has it rach it rach the way it is done, and as the patient to relax, and then to also strike the triceps tendon just like this, and we have also the hang up reflex or reflex of that of hypo thyroidism mainly. So we have to put in here and put the inner side. ايه يبان لي نفس ما بعد طلعها لبرا لبرا اوكي تفصل لنا اياها جاست لايك ذيس ان ذا فيلمنج مانا از وي سي هير ليتس لوك اب ذا دورس فليكشن اند ذن بلانت ريفليكشن عشت ذيك ستري ريلي اول ذيس اباوت ذي سوبرفيشال اند ديب تندن ريفليكسز وي هاف ان اذر ريفليكسز ويتش ار برميتيف ريفليكسز ذات ار نوت روتين Uh, sometimes the examiner committee really ask about the inverted radio, uh, brachioradialis reflex or supinator reflex or uh, that of absence of knee gear or ankle gear with extensor plantar response. The candidate really should read about these uh, two issues carefully and uh, all this uh, about the examination and the skull required for the reflex examination.